Hello guys. All right. So, um, I want to welcome you to Photographics Academy. Today, we are going to be looking at something very interesting. I stumbled into this image in Deity Studio. So I felt, I think this is beautiful. So I said, okay, let me just jump on it and let's see what we can create out of it. So we are right here in Photoshop. Let's start work immediately. So the first thing I think I need to do is just to cut down the highlights in the background. Of course, if you don't want to cut it down, you can leave it that way. So I'll just go to my mask, select background. Let me just select the backgrounds. Then I will kill the highlights a little. Definitely the, the brightness in the highlight. Then maybe drop down the, the exposure just a little so I can bring details into that background. You can, of course, kill it down so much. But let me just drop it like this to be a little bit exposed more than the image so that we'll have that separation. Then maybe drop down the white so increase it. I think I like it like this. And I'll go back to my uh, main adjustments, take up my temperature a little to warm up stuffs. And we are basically good to go. Probably add a little dehaze to bring a little more sharpness to the image. Just a little contrast here and there. Okay, so I think I like it this way. Maybe lift the shadows a little. All right, so I'll go to open. Of course, you can hold shift to open it as a smart object, but I wouldn't want to do that. So I'll just open the image and wait for it to load up. Nice, beautiful. So the first thing I'm going to do is take care of the blemishes on the image. This is not going to be a very long work. So we just take our past our healing brush tool and just go around and take care of the blemishes like this nice of course you wouldn't want to do too much here so you don't lose the you don't lose the details of the image but we can take care of most of the blemishes even using frequency separation so i wouldn't want to dwell so much on blemish removal nice okay so the first thing we'll, the second thing we'll do rather is to run our frequency separation so i'll just Run my frequency separation. Looking at the quality of the image, it's not quite a high, uh, a high res image. So I'll be keeping it somewhere around five. I'll press OK. Simple. We are good. Go to your low frequency. Pick up your mixer brush tool. Keep your settings the same way. You can as well close the high frequency to see exactly what you are doing. Then just simply start painting over your image, like this. Simply start painting over your image like this. Make sure you are avoiding your highlights and your shadows. Don't paint them into each other so you don't lose the shape of your picture or the dimension of your image. Just like this. You can paint them separately. Or just make sure you take your time and get it well. Beautiful, just like that. So you can blend these edges together to make the flow seamless. Just blend them up together like this. Then come down a little here with the same, the same procedure to the cheek here. Like this, just like that. Just paint this. So you might want to be reducing the size of your brush now and then to assume the same dimension size of the area you want to paint per time so it doesn't look weird or flat. So look at that highlights down here. So we'll just paint it separately like this. Paint our shadows separately. Okay, so at this point, I think I will need to purge. I think I'll need to purge to release my my system. I think in spite hanging. All right, so we are good to go.
Okay, so I think we are cool. So let's look at the before, the overall before and after. So this is before frequency separation. This is after frequency separation, before, after, before, before, after. So let's go a bit closer to the face and see what we did there. So this is before, this is after. Okay, so the next thing we're going to be doing, just do minor dodge and burn. Just minor dodge and burn. But it's going to be a global dodge and burn, though not, not micro dodge and burn. So I'm just going to drop my brush to two. Drop my flow to two so I wouldn't have to dwell so much there. Make sure that your foreground color is white and your background is black. Okay, so just paint over the highlights and make them shine. I think I burned that area. All right, so just over the highlights here. Got the one at the edge of the nose. Like this. Got this one. So just leave this area. That area is obviously in the shadow so just make here brighter you can of course off your frequency separation so you can see the fall of lights very effectively so we obviously have lights here so we'll just make here brighter pinching lights here look at this one over here We're having some highlights here don't need to make it to be too strong since we don't we did it, uh, the image was not shot on a very hard uh, on a very high key light so you can just still keep the highlights subtle but just make it to be obvious that it's there keep it subtle but just make it to be obvious that it's there come to the cheek look at this area do the same thing back here look at this place just minor minor touches we do not need to do so much like i said and come to the arm just drop a streak of highlights over the arm like this going to make it look so nice the same thing you can do the same thing here also follow the highlights the original highlights there just a streak of highlight then come to the belly yeah so i think i need to do need to do a lot here so that we can bring back the dimensions even if we lost it during frequency separation so we just mimic the whole highlight and shadow thing like this look at this one over here just to make them a bit stronger like this then for the shadows we repeat the same thing so definitely we we'll have to have a very strong shadow run through the belly or over the belly like this nice so just put a little shadow a little shadow little shadow a little shadow so let's look at it with frequency separation look at that beautiful okay so we put a little shadow in the image as well remember we just did dodge we didn't burn the face like this you can zoom in to have a better control and over here i think i need a little shadow here to make my highlights over here a bit stronger like this so it can be very obvious the changes we did there then the lips as well i think the lips needs highlighting here here as well the edges so let's just mimic a lip liner so the lips can stand out very well nice Okay, so you can as well dodge burn the opposites so we have all our dimensions clearly showing up all right so we have shadow here have bone here just a little bone here a little here a little in the middle a little at the edge over here see do i'm making my brushes bigger and smaller good we are good to go with the dodging and burning you don't need to do too much so i'm going to off my visual aid and let's look at what we had in dodge and burn so this is before this is after this is before this is after zoom in a little so i think i'm having too much of it over the nose before after so i'm having too much of it over the nose so i'm going to clean it off a little like that then the bone as well okay we well, are good all right so i think i still have too much bone here maybe i should just add dodge to flatten stuffs up over here just a little over here nice then drop this one down a little this is too shouty 
let's take it up a little yeah beautiful okay so let's go nice i think i love what i'm having now so i'm going to be deleting my visual aid group i'll be deleting my visual aid group so this is before this is after this is before this is after before frequency separation and everything this is dot and one without frequency separation this is after frequency separation so the next thing we're going to do now is to focus on the background so to do that to do that i want to color grade the image so to do that i'm just going to create i'm just going to go towards my solid color because i need her skin to shut to come out very bright very bright so that it will to complement with the color grading i want to give her at the end of the game so having gotten my my solid color that one i want to use on the skin i'm going to duplicate my background create a mask for it so i just want to use color range and select her skin tone out of the background and remove it from the places that is too spilled out in all right so i think i like this one we'll copy the mask just place the mask over the solid color you can delete this one so we'll have the mask over the solid color change the blend mode to soft light then reduce the opacity like that so i think i want to remove it from the places i do not want it so this is before so i'm seeing a little bit of it on the dress although it's not bad it's not entirely bad over here maybe over the dress i think i'm okay with it on the dress so let's look at the places maybe on the background look at it over here go out before after so i'm seeing it over here so i'll just take it away from here nice okay so let's look at the before and after again so this is before this is after i think i want it a little bit desaturated so let me just saturate this a little more and take the brightness all the way up to 100 so this is before this is after i'll reduce it just a little now it's beautiful so my back my image is already popping from the background it's already popping from the background so the next thing i'm going to do is go create a uh, create a stamp visible layer Control shift alternate e so i'll go into my camera raw so this is what i'm going to be doing most of my color grading because of the look i'm going for i'm, look, I'm looking for a very warm green uh, very warm grasses behind her so i'm going to pick the eye eye uh the color picker to come over to the background here the hue and just drag it towards here like this beautiful so if you feel you do not want it you can as well make it look entirely greenish so that your image is going to come out very well maybe i will color grade the two and see the one that looks better so i want to go towards this look now then for the luminance i'll drop it down a little like this just like that beautiful so to the yellows i'll do the same thing as well and heal the yellows as well like this can take it towards the green it's too much just a little bit like this then come over to your saturation you can now increase the green to make that saturation pop up you can as well reduce the saturation to make your image stand out so i think i'm going to do just that then the yellows as well i think he's looking a bit too distracting so let me just take it up a little nice so for the clothes for the clothes for my blue jeans i want it towards something of this area you can decide to take it towards this side but i think i want it a little bit towards here somewhere here then darken it down a little darken it down a little then saturate it up a little like this nice okay i think this is too much okay let's just keep it somewhere around here beautiful nice the second thing i want to do is i want to create a vignette effect that is going to separate yeah that is going to create that vignette effect around it then go back to my exposure settings drop down the highlights or take it up a little i think i want it up a little increase the warmness of the whole image then maybe take up the vibrance just a little and we are good to go so press ok whoa so this is before so this is before this is after color grading before color grading after color grading all right so i think i want it like this this is nice for what i'm going for for the look i'm going for i love what i have here so maybe you can try something else maybe go to your gradient map add a little filter to it maybe a, a blurry or a purple filter let's see what this is going to give to us 
change the blend mode to soft light and let's see maybe something a little bit more dramatic maybe soft light drop it down a little so this is another way you can add pretty filter effects to your image you can now go back and start changing the colors start changing the colors i think i love this i love this before after look at that color amazing color so look at it this is before this is after so maybe you can drop the opacity if you feel it's too high you can still increase it if you feel it's too low i want it somewhere here just that dreamy effect that it gives then one more thing i want to do is just go to my color lookup tables and look for just any color lookup that is going to make my whole image pop out and look amazing i think i love this so i'm just going to drop down the fill like this this is before this is after so still drop it down a little so it's called crisp warm look so let's look at other options we'll have and see if we can have something more beautiful okay maybe we'll take it up a little so we can see the effect strong okay, so this is late sunset whoa amazing stops we have here look at this horror blue amazing let's take the feel up and see what we'll have it's too much keep dropping it keep dropping it nice this is beautiful this is before this is after but i think i want it in the crisp warm crisp warm look like this nice so this is before this is after so let's look at the overall image and see what we've created from just a flat image so this is the image where we came into photoshop this is the image after from editing before after before after please do make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel thank you for watching this amazing video do not forget to ring the bell to get notified every single time we drop a new video thank you very much